So who out there is actually considered a doctor? Who is worthy of holding on to this glorious title? Well, going across TikTok, I came, recently came across a bunch of different individuals, nurse practitioners, um, pharmacists, uh, individuals that just put white coats on saying they're doctors and that kind of sparks a debate in the comment section of each of these videos on if this individual is worthy of having the title doctor. So let's break that down in this video and see who is worthy of the title of doctor. So the title of doctor goes way far back and it was originally referred to individuals involved with the church. Originally, the term doctor referred to apostles or church fathers or individuals that were just important figures in the church. Slowly over time, universities started to adopt the title and give it to individuals that were graduating from things like law, philosophy, and medicine. Back then, it was really an age and experience thing. Once you had gotten to middle age and your peers thought you were of the standard of being able to be called a doctor in your particular field, that's when you were attained the title. Early on in the United States, medical programs started to adopt the title of doctor and it slowly in English had a secondary meaning exclusively to refer to individuals that had practiced medicine and have graduated from a medical institution. There was actually a medical act of 1858 that actually made it illegal for anybody that did not have a medical degree to call themselves doctor. Following that came unbanning the title of doctor, then banning it again, then unbanning it, then PhDs getting on board and calling themselves doctor Doctor, which is completely the explanation of why it is so muddled on who can call themselves doctors today. And that's enough of the history lesson on the title of doctor because it just gets absolutely confusing to follow and that's not the point of this video. So who these days is running around calling themselves doctor? Well, you have the obvious doctor of medicine. That's the first individual you think of when you think about doctors. People that are at hospitals, people that are your primary care physicians, they're prescribing medications, they're treating you. That is who we associate as doctor in our minds. Now, by acquiring a PhD, you also attain the title of doctor in whatever field that you're in. You can have a PhD in gender studies, you can have a PhD in philosophy, you can have a PhD in chemistry, and you are a doctor. You are doctor so-and-so of philosophy. Just a quick search through the internet, you're gonna find physician assistants that are calling themselves doctors, nurse practitioners that go by the title doctor. You're gonna have individuals that are pharmacists go by the title doctor, dentists out there calling themselves doctors, chiropractors out there calling themselves doctors. So what is the correct term? Do these individuals have the right to go around calling themselves doctors or not? I know this can get super heated, especially if you go to a random chiropractors TikTok and you go down to the comments and you're one of the top comments all the time is gonna be, why are you calling yourselves doctors? You're a chiropractor. And in the end of the day, with the muddled history that the title of doctor has, these individuals have all the right in the world to call themselves doctors. There's no mandated law that they cannot do it. There's no real clear distinction of who the title belongs to. As it currently stands, these individuals can legally call themselves doctors. So let's get to my opinion on this because in the end of the day, this really comes down to be a subjective decision on who you consider deserves the title of doctor. Who will you willingly call and accept as their title to be doctor? So I wanna keep both sides of the story super straight on where there is even controversy over this title. Well, individuals work really hard for their degrees. It doesn't matter what field you're in, whether you're PA, NP, dentist, whatever you are, you worked really hard to get to where you're at. You feel like you deserve the respect of the titles of doctor and whatever other titles you wanna associate with any of that. There's a sense of personal achievement associated with the title of doctor, and it's a pretty big deal for a lot of individuals. On the other side, the big, big problem with having the title doctor used so loosely is especially in this day and age of social media where individuals are on Facebook, you'll have 50, 60 year old individuals on Facebook that don't know what's the truth and what's not. Uh, you're having people run across individuals on TikTok that are promoting things uh, that might not be safe and they're wearing a white coat and they're looking like a professional and they're telling you to like stand upside down and eat tree bark while you're, you know, while peeing at the same time and you'll lose weight. Like that is, that's the kind of situation we're dealing with sometimes. There are people out there promoting these random juice blends, people promoting drinking your own urine, people just promoting the weirdest stuff. And the fact is they're in scrubs, they're wearing a white coat, they're putting the title of doctor in front of them, they're using things like doctor of homeopathy and all this other stuff to get away with things that are not beneficial for the public. That is where the main concern comes from with just going rampant with this title of doctor. Drew, urine, 
for a face wash. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm not saying everyone do this. <laughs> urine skin therapy, this is a real thing. People collect their urine and they wash their face. And so completely understanding the situation of there's individuals out there that have worked their butt off that want to be considered doctors. The basic solution to all of this is just putting what you're a doctor of at the end of your title. So I'm talking about things like doctor of homeopathy. If that's what you are, put it at the end of your title. Doctor of chiropractory, whatever that title is. Doctor of pharmacy, doctor of uh, nurse practitionership. We can work on the title. The actual idea is you have to put your full title so people know who you are. If you're just putting on a white coat and you ha have doctor written there and there's no end of title, we need to be suspicious of those individuals. Just like with everything complicated guys, of course that's not the end all solution of all of our issues, but it's a good way to start. And I think it's gonna solve a lot of issues from both ends. If you guys have any additional ideas or any thoughts about this video, make sure you guys leave it in the comments below and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe there's a ton of people watching the videos but not subscribing don't forget on your way down there to the comment section hit that subscribe button and if we can especially share this video i would love for this to get around and hopefully individuals start putting their full titles if you're a doctor of pharmacy if you're a doctor of whatever be proud of who you are put it in your title and then put it out there so that individuals know who they're getting information from i think that's super important so it's a good start either way thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.